Hey, what's going on, guys? Snoopaloop7 here. We're doing a computer build from a buddy. Call me Snags. He's on Twitter. He's on Twitch. Uh, those links will be in the description. We're making a build for him so that he can stream a lot better uh, to Twitch. Before, he's been streaming from his Xbox. Now he's going to be able to stream through his computer so we can have overlays and get Twitch alerts on and things like that. Make the viewing experience uh, a lot better. So it's a budgeted build. Um, it's not an expensive, overblown, crazy thing. It's just something to really help him stream. So the items that we got here for the build, we'll start off uh, with the case here. We just got a fractal uh, design uh, for the case. We have the AMD FX 8300 CPU, the processor. We're actually going to get the 6300, but then there's a sale for this for like $5 more. So it's just going to be uh, a little bit better for the encoding, uh, helping them get some better frame rates and whatnot, so we can stream a little bit better. We got the GTX 750 Ti. It's a really good. It's still a really good uh, budget GPU. We got it for pretty cheap. It was like 85 bucks or something that we got it for. So that was the reason. Like I said, it's a budget. It was a budget build, and it's going to do everything he needs to. He plays League of Legends and World of Warcraft on PC. The rest of his gaming he does on his Xbox, so he doesn't need anything crazy. And then we got some RAM, just some Pony Anarchy RAM. It was the cheapest, 8 gigabytes. It's 2x4 there. And we got a nice AS Rock motherboard to go along with the AMD CPU. So over here we actually got power supply. It's just a simple, it's a Corsair 500 watt uh, bronze plus certified power supply to keep everything running smooth. Start off here installing the CPU and some of you enthusiasts are probably going to hate me because we're on a carpet right now but the motherboard is not directly on the carpet and I am keeping myself grounded by touching the uh, keep myself grounded as much as possible by touching the metal uh, case. So we're going to go ahead and install the CPU so this one is pretty easy you just got to Flip this up here, and we will get out our CPU. Make sure to line up our little arrow over here, and it falls right in. So there's an arrow kind of on the corner there that lines up with an arrow that you can see on the motherboard when it's not in. And then with this one, it's as simple as flipping that back underneath. And the next thing up is the CPU fan, the heatsink on it. So this is just the stock cooler that comes with it. This one's a bit different than some other ones I've had. They're all a bit different. So we're going to try to figure it out as we go here. Make sure everything is aligned up. I want it to drop right on the middle of it. And it connects to these little pieces on the side. Okay, now which way? This thing is this little flipper here. You gotta figure out exactly how it's gonna come into play. Let's see. Right, there we go. Okay, so it releases it down. There we go. A bit closer now. There it goes. Okay. Now I just got to flip this back over to tighten it. All right. So that should be on nice and secure now. All right. Ooh, nice. Fits perfectly. Just had to flip it. Just had to flip this lever in the right direction. It was a little bit hard to see exactly how it would work. And we'll plug the fan into the motherboard right now. Make sure we get it lined up correctly. And bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to install our uh, RAM, the Pony Anarchy. And the slots we're going to be putting it in is two and four for the dual channel. So make sure we get it lined up. Got to pop these open here. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit off. 
off on that bottom side and try to pop these bad boys in. There we go. Nice, that one in easy. Pop these open first. And here we go. Almost got it. Nice. This is actually the easiest I've ever had uh, RAM install. Usually it's a little bit more difficult for some reason. Good job, Pony. Those went in really nice. So we're going to go ahead and put in the standoffs for the motherboard so it's not directly touching the case. These are pretty easy to put in. Just hand tighten them. And with this, uh, with this case, it's made for uh, micro, micro ATX motherboard, so it's pretty easy to know which uh, places the standoffs go in. If you get a bigger case that's made for a lot more different types of uh, motherboards, you're going to have more holes that they could potentially go in, and you got to kind of figure it out, but it's pretty easy here. Get a better angle here. Last one. The metal depth trap that is the IO shield. I'm actually lucky enough to have never been cut by it yet, so hopefully we'll keep that streak going, won't get cut here. You do gotta pop it in. Um, just go nice and easy. Work your way down, kind of apply a little bit of pressure on the back side so it doesn't go flying through and cut yourself. Alright. Nice. No cuts. Perfect. Alright, so we're now going to put the entire motherboard and whatnot in here into the case onto the standoffs that we just put in. Try and line it up with these standoffs. There we are, that looks about right. And we'll start getting the screws in here. We'll lightly tighten this one just a little bit. Go down here to the opposite corner. So this is the uh, boring part of just screwing things in. Um, try not to, as you're putting them in, drop them. I've had in the past where I accidentally dropped a screw and it like fell down behind the motherboard. And that became a pain to try and get out. So you don't want to do that. You want to be careful when you're doing this. All right, so we're now going to put in the GPU, the Zotac 750 Ti. I'm going to slide this right down in here. I've already taken off uh, the little stands over here. Make sure we line it up correctly. Push down, we'll push down the back end first. Kind of work the front, then the back, then the front. Alright, it seems like it's, yep, it's going to be in there nicely. And then there's a little slide over here on this motherboard. Nice and easy, you kind of click. And it's now locked into place. We'll actually go ahead and put these guys back on to hold it. Yeah, so next up, I'm going to be plugging in all these little wires and whatnot. We're using the motherboard and the uh, 
stuff that goes with it to make sure I'm plugging things in correctly. I'm not going to video all of that because it's just a bunch of little things being plugged in that you can do on your own uh, with your own motherboard layout and whatnot. So cut right to the next thing. Real quick with this, depends on the case you have, but on this one you can actually slide out the part that goes right here, so that's going to make it easier to plug all these in. So just a quick tip, uh, depending on your case, look for if you can do that to help you out with some more space. So kind of got everything plugged in here, the USB 3.0 for the front, audio, all the LEDs for the power and reset button and whatnot, and uh, the fan that's in the front. We'll fix the wires uh, a little bit later. We'll kind of pull them off to the side. They're just staying there for right now. Next up, though, we're going to put in the power supply. It's a Corsair. We said earlier, um, I think all we're going to be needing is this big guy, and then for when we put in the the hard drive, we're going to need uh, just one of these. And the rest, um, it's obviously not semi-modular or modular. It's just uh, we got all of them here. We're just going to kind of tuck them away as best we can. So, so here we go. This kind of just fits in here. Way in the back, slide those out of the way. Slides back there. I'm gonna tuck these out of the way real quick. Alright, so what I did um, up here, this is where if you had a CD drive it would go. But on this particular case, you can take out a little. Um, it's actually this piece right here, and you can take it out from right here, so that way I can kind of tuck the wires down through where the CD drive would normally be, just to kind of help get the wires out of the way a little bit, especially for right now, and we'll kind of tuck things down in here uh, later on. So, we've got the PSU up here though, and it's about ready, we'll get the screws and we'll screw it in. Alright, so we got the little screws that go with it, they come with the case, and we'll start off just up here. Just gonna get it going with my hand first. Screw that bad boy in. Okay, go to the opposite corner down here. Actually, I could probably pick up this whole thing now. Nothing's gonna fall out, so get it so it's set in there a little bit better. There we go. Sometimes you gotta make sure you line it up correctly. Be a little bit tough sometimes, but you always get it. This is the hard drive, it's a WD Blue, one terabyte, and it connects to this piece that we took out from right here, and pretty much just line up with these rubber marks, you can go top or bottom, we're going to put it on the bottom, and then you connect it with these screws, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to screw those in, and then I'm going to put it back into here, and I'll show you the end result. Now we're going to plug the power supply into the motherboard, you can see I've kind of wired it through the same spot uh, where the... CD drive would be, we don't have one, so we can utilize that space. And it goes into this big guy right here. Alright, so we got those lined up. This is always the toughest one to plug in and get it to kind of click. Almost got it. Sometimes it doesn't even actually make the audible click. You just got you just want to make sure that it's all the way in, so 
side over here is not quite alright it looks like it's latched on okay let me just make sure there's no spaces around and the latch is latched on over on the side so it should be good so you can see we put this back in with the hard drive now above everything and we're just plugging the SATA cable which I have connected to the motherboard and then the power for the hard drive so this just plugs in right here and it's not great uh, cable management but uh, it's what we got to do with this case and the parts we have and whatnot connect that guy and then the top part will just go over here so that should be it. Everything is connected. Everything is inside the case. So we are going to put the side back on and plug her in, plug it into my monitor, and see if this bad boy turns on. So here's the moment of truth. Just see if this bad boy turns on. Fans are going. That's a good sign. Come on, Bessie. Uh, yeah, I plugged that in. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, things are up and running. So we're going to install Windows 10. We got it on a flash drive over there. Uh, so we'll install it from that. And everything looks like it's going to be up and running. So call me Snags. Probably starting tonight even. Going to be streaming. Going to have some high-quality stuff coming out for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I know this is kind of different than what I normally do, but I want to make a special video kind of uh, highlighting Call Me Snags. It's, uh, his, again, his links will be in the description, his Twitter and Twitch. Uh, follow those. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.